excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMV, the Six Ninja, in the place to be for a Paper Saber universe. Welcome to a New World Podcast, brother. And we're talking about Dynamite, July 26, 2023. Taz, Excalibur, Tony on commentary. We're in uh, Albany, New York. Let's get it started. We started off with a fun match for the AEW International Championship. AR Fox gets his shot at Orange Cassidy. Um, this was a really fun back and forth match. Um, Darby got him this match and Darby's like, Hey, you know, I slept in my car and AR Fox is the one blah, blah, blah. Cause they had a little package for this. And this was a good match. Um, Orange Cassidy won. And I'm just at this point though, I'm like, who is going to defeat Orange Cassidy? Who is going to be our new AEW international champion? Because I feel like Orange Cassidy has gone through everyone. And I think that's why A.R. Fox was, like, next up in line. Like, who who's going to take the title off Orange Cassidy? Don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying his run. But it just, he, he even said it. Like, this is uh, the most times this title has been defended, defended has been by Orange Cassidy and than any other AEW championship. And I was like, yeah, feels like it. <laughs> but fun match, though. Uh, great way to start the show. Um, A.R. Fox had a little bit of a heel turn he punched orange cassidy cheap shot because he lost darby comes out like why'd you do that why'd you do that you know but this sets up for later on Mm -hmm. um but you know then uh mock then mock john moxie just randomly attacks orange cassidy you know he just ah, you know then we get backstage with renee and uh don Callis and jericho don brings up this painting and it's weirdly glorious and weird but it's of them too you know with their mentor above watching them and they're big and muscular and Don's got hair, you know, <laughs> and Jericho's was like, I'm still thinking about it pretty much. That's what I got from that. Then we had Claudio Moxley and uh, Wheeler with a public service announcement. You do not mess with mess. <laughs> you do not mess with the Blackpool Combat Club. They will show you, you know, what they can do. And that's just violence. Okay. Jack Perry, boring. I, I'm enjoying his heel run, but I'm not enjoying his heel run. Like I'm, I'm still. I think he still needs to find himself. You know, he, he, it's just like yeah, you know. And then like Jerry Lynn comes out because Jack was talking bad about ECW and got ECW chance, and Jerry Lynn comes out. I'm like, okay, they're gonna go face to face next week, and I'm like. Why? You know, this show was really weird for me. Like, a lot of this show was really, really, really weird for me. Um, and this was just, like, the starting point of when everything. I was like, okay, Jerry Lynn, cool, you know. And this is why when I see shit on uh, Twitter, you know, AW Dynamite over everything, especially WWE, uh, I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. I, I, it's funny how... In this world, we have to pick sides. You know, we have to, like, you're we're with this team or you're with that team. We just can't enjoy the wrestling. You know, we can't just have fun. Because, let's be honest, AEW can produce crap too. But for some reason, there's this uh, uh, elite, if you will, of super fans that, are just, that they can do no wrong. And so you're going to tell me that this Jack Perry, Jerry Lynn thing is something you really want to fucking see? You want to see these two? You want to see Jerry Lynn for how old he is to go against Jack Perry and this title for the FTW championship? Like, and are we going to get Taz involved? Because I feel like that's that's going to be a moment. No, I want I want him to continue his feud with Hook. Not Jerry Lynn. Not Taz. Not ECW. I want him to fucking face Hook. For fuck's sakes, man. But people right there know. No, no, we just assume it's been WWE. It's like, shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I just, I saw a meme. It pissed me off. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to move on. <laughs> uh, Pac versus Gravity. This match is okay. Yeah, no, nothing really. Um, Pac for the win. Um, Renee's with MJF and Adam Cole. They talk about FTR, their big championship match this Saturday on Collision. I am very excited because it's a packed weekend again with wrestling. It's um, 
Collision on Saturday. Then we got the Great American Bash on Sunday. And um, <laughs> MJF cuts this great thing on uh, FTR. He's like, yeah, we heard Dax. Oh, there's wrestling and all he's going on. He's like, I'm going to punch you so hard you're going to cough up CM Punk's jockstrap. And I was like, damn. <laughs> Hey, here comes Jealous Roderick Strong Comes out, he's just like hey, What about me, guys? I got my neck break Remember? I probably don't need to wear this thing anymore But look at me, you know, he's coming he's like, I'm so sad he's like, oh, Come on, Adam And he's like <laughs> And Adam Cole's like treating him like an ex-girlfriend He's like, hey, stop it Boundaries, bro, boundaries Then we get on the flip side With Renee with FTR And like, literally, I, I couldn't stop laughing Because Dax kind of cut the promo that MJF said it, what Dax does. You know, I was like, yeah. <laughs> so, big match. I think the the, the breakup's going to happen this weekend. And I'm very, very sad because Adam Cole's like, you know, you're, we're becoming best friends. We're becoming, you know, all this and that. But once, once, once that hits, it's going to break all our hearts. Because better than you, baby, it was, is going to be a sweet, short, awesome thing. Double clothesline. Double clothesline. Uh, Darby Allen versus Swerve. Whose house? Swerve's house. Um, I, I got to say, like, <laughs> you know, sometimes my brain don't work so well. My brain sometimes, it, it, it gets empty and hollow with things. So with this match, well, before I, uh, before I, I pause this match to go get me some uh, snackages, you know, because I kind of have snackages when we watch the wrestling. And, um, uh, I, I saw someone post like, oh man, it's so crazy, you know, Swerve, uh, you know, and, and when he was in WWE, something like that nature. And I was like, Swerve was in WWE? Then like, you know, I was like thinking in my brain, I'm like, what? And then I Googled it and I was like, oh, you dumbass. Hit row. <laughs> They're really not a thing right now. And I like. As soon as someone said that, I was like, wait, what? And then I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that awesome version of Hit Row. And now it's like a like a three-dimension Hit Row, you know, two-dimension, whatever. But, yeah, I don't know why. But I think Swerve's doing okay over here with Prince Nana. Is it the Mogul Embassy or is it the Embassy? Because at the end of this match, after Swerve won, because AR Fox came out, Darby Allen's out there with Nick Wayne, who didn't do shit to help. You know, AR Fox attacks Darby, officially making his turn to the dark side. Joe joins the Mogul Embassy or the Embassy because the shirt just said Embassy. But I was like, okay. Um, but this was this was a fun match. Great spots. Uh, AR Fox, though, turning was something that I really did enjoy. I was like, okay, I am down with this. I am very down with this. I, I think AR Fox needs to boost, you know, not quit being teamed up with everybody else. He needs to be, uh, he, I, I know he's getting teamed up with the embassy, but I think he's going to be better, you know, showcasing his uh, work as a heel. And sometimes that's all you need. And I, I am a big fan of AR Fox. So him joining Swerve, I'm like, hell yeah, let's do this. And him starting a feud with Darby, fuck yeah, let's go. Um, then we have Renee with the JAS, you know, Jericho Appreciation Society. They're slowly breaking up. The band's not working. Jericho comes in. He's like, hey, guys. And he goes, come into the office. And there's a the big picture of him and uh, Don. <laughs> and I felt like right where Jericho saw I, I I saw him almost break character. I'm like, yeah, I forgot how funny this is. And it, it is funny. But they're all like, hey, man, what's going on, dude? Like, you know, you never appreciated us. We appreciated you. We're called the Jericho Appreciation Society. What? You know, so more tension building there. What is Jericho going to do? Um, all right. Next match. Uh Britt Baker versus Taya Valkyrie. Ooh, a match I was really looking forward to. As soon as Taya called out Britt, I was like, okay, this is gonna be awesome. It was something. <laughs> it was uh yeah, like there's just some weird spots in this match. Like, I I don't know. These two just did not gel well together. And Britt Baker for the win because she got the lockjaw. And, like, automatically, like, Taya just taps out so fast. And I'm like, what? You know, you got punched in the face and this and that. You got up so quick and this and that. But that lockjaw, as soon as she puts her fingers in your mouth, you're, like, tap. You know, you're just, I, I was highly, highly disappointed and I saw a sign in the crowd that says, book the women's division better. And I was thinking about the women's division right now. And I was like, yeah, they got a point. 
they got a point. So match of the night I was looking forward to was not the match of the night. It was just something. Uh, they announced uh, T Tag Team Battle Royale. They had a package for it for uh, Rampage this weekend because we settle everything in a Battle Royale. Uh, Sheeta versus Rose. Uh, to, you know, I think whoever wins, they get a shot at Tony Storm, who's not on the show. And then there was Paige. You know, I'm, and I, now I look at that sign with the book, the women's division better. I was like, yeah, yeah, they got a point. They got a fucking point. <laughs> now in the main event. Um, Blackpool Combat Club versus the Lucha Bros versus Best Friends. Messy, messy match. Very messy, very chaotic. Lucha Bros for the win. You know, best, you know, it, 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 it I don't know. Orange Cassidy comes out. Eh, next week's Dynamite 200. You know, it, it, it was just a messy ending of a show. Like, this, the show started off so strong. And it just kind of lost its way all the way down to the end. And, yes, we had some really cool spots. I did have a lot of fun with this match. Um, but Lucha Bros for the win. You know, but all I got to say, the best thing out of this is Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy is our Ring of Honor champions. That's all I'm happy about. Yeah. So, oh, and um, to everybody out there who's asked, they're like, what happened to the Ring of Honor New World podcast? Um, so, <laughs> I usually watch Ring of Honor on Fridays, Friday morning. But my Fridays have become so chaotic with, uh, you know, because I get paid and then I go take care of bills and we go take care of this. But this is this, like a big day of laundry day. It's a big day in my personal life for my Fridays. So my Fridays get eaten up before I go to work. Um, Death Before Dishonor came. I didn't have the funds because uh, for, for that. And then uh, I got the funds. Now it's just sitting there and I'm like two weeks behind. I'm very sorry. I'm going to try to get back on track with Ring of Honor. But um, I, the Fridays has just become so chaotic to where I want to still do the main shows. So, you know, that's what's going on there. So apologies. But um, for this show, I give the show a solid two and a half out of five for this Dynamite on July 26, 2023. I give it a solid two and a half. Favorite match was the first match. And then after that, everything just went. Nah, 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 nah. Darby Allen and Swerve was awesome. I did like the um, AR Fox heel turn. So... There were some things to enjoy, and there was a lot of things just like, ugh. And I think seeing that seeing that meme was what really, like, set my brain tone to be like, come on. This isn't all good. <laughs> all right, y'all. Um, there we go. Tell me what you like the show. Did you like the show more than I did? You know, tell me. Tell, drop those comments and be honest. Let's talk pro wrestling. Let's talk pro wrestling here, folks. This is what we do. We're fans. We love this shit. We, we embrace this shit. We got to embrace it more. Even if it's negative or it's positive, we are pro wrestling fans. That's it. That's all. Um, like and subscribe. Share it to grandma. Share it to grandma. Share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB, the sexy ninja. And as always, the New World Podcast is for life, brother. I'm being selfish. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? We spent all this time appreciating you. And you know, I don't think you appreciate us.